Hello and welcome back to StarMade on the Star Squadron server. My name is Ravenschild. I'm still building this ship here. It takes more time than I thought, really. But I finally was able to at least smooth it out a bit. So I, I've put in slopes and corners and whatsoever to make it a bit smoother. We are on the newest update, by the way, that made some some lighting changes and it the game really looks nice now it's it's a cool thing i'm a bit it <laughs> it's harder to smooth stuff than i thought when i always always when i look at it i find stuff that i kind of want to change and sometimes i go in and change it and make it even smoother sometimes but on the other end, it loses form then, because then you basically have straights, straight, straights. And with this, I wanted to have a bit of roundish shapes and all that stuff. It's it's really hard to to do that kind of stuff. So you can see that uh, everywhere should be should be yeah, a bit smoother edges and all that stuff. I've put in the anti-missile system turrets. And today I want to start the first of the deck cannons, basically. I'm, I am now starting to work on too many parts of the ships all at once. That's not a good thing. <laughs> and I need to focus on things now you can see that i have put in a smokestack that is not really a smokestack i have to see what i fill that with shields or something like that we will we will have to see and um yeah the the ship at least has some office anti-missile capabilities right now um there are I think eight of the guns missing the three on each side on top of here and the two that are down here are missing otherwise I have them all in place the one on the candy cane and one two on the back and we will see what what else we fit in I'm working on the inside some people were um, had some ideas to put in more decks and open spaces and all that stuff. Good things that came in and good comments that came in to um, make it even on the inside look relatively good. Um, <laughs> people said I should put in more decks. That was the plan anyways, to have multiple decks somewhere. But for example, this the 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 beam cannon in the front i wanted to have it a bit more open and i need to um don't know again and capsule this in stuff to to not have only the beam blocks here and then i want to have basically a walkway around it so you can see it from above and maybe i will put in I don't know some a control cabin somewhere up here so you can walk in there and you could control it from there with some consoles and uh, <laughs> this will be another deck I might fake some cabins here so have some have some hallways with doors and cabins or something like that and then have this as don't know a crew deck or something like that so you can see the this is directly below the the top deck there and then we come into the hallways to the bridge and all that stuff so the bridge i <clears throat> it would be nice to have something like elevators or ladders would be nice one thing i want to 
would like to have is and i i have to think about a way how i can how i can simulate that i want to have ladders here that lead up to the to the upper floor because bringing in a staircase here or so that doesn't work out for me and yeah then the rest i basically have to simulate lifts or something like that we we will have to see how that works out the the plex lifts only work from down uh, so only work from the the bottom to the top and there's not enough space to fit in big rail lifts or something like that so i don't know i bring in anti gravity lifts or uh, something something like that so it leads to a floor below the bridge this will be closed here and we could in don't know communications this will be closed too but i leave that open now to have access to the inside of the smokestack here and then we have some oh that was wrong i wanted to get rid of this block so then we have some ramps that lead up to the bridge the bridge bridge is here is at the moment relatively open i might want to bring in a similar system that i have for the dread where i basically have some blast doors that shield the bridge when i activate it and i i might want to add something like that here too just some some shielding some shielding that prevents the bridge from don't know getting hit all at once i have some things on the side here some some uh posts where don't know i i could bring in other it's <laughs> real life real life ship bridges have posts where people can go out and take a look around the ship and all that stuff and i'm trying to simulate that here although it is absolutely not needed for us for a spaceship and that also counts for the smokestack and all that stuff but again it is a bit of a play on real life uh real life warships one thing i want to do here also is break still break it up a bit i don't know how much time i still have we we are still planning to to fight at one point and we need to start that at one point so i i have to see at the moment i'm trying to work it out more on the outside and get it ready but i also want to keep working on it we we will have to see how that works out for me so that's why i want to bring next the next thing i want to bring in are the the deck cannons basically to give it a bit of the functionality a uh, functionality and bring in the rockets here on the side i decided to go for just swarm missiles to just uh punch out fighters and all that stuff around me um having missiles in the front will not work out because with the with the beam here i don't have a lot of space if i want to keep it open so i think the beam as the main weapon will have to do and then uh, some cannons to take out shields and all that stuff that hopefully will work out it's <laughs> my ships mostly are showing off instead of making a real <laughs> dent in other big ships there are people on the server that can that do crazy big ships that nobody ever will be <laughs> defeating with just these these small ships here that that will not work out but i'm good against pirates and against other people i want to do something with with uh, landscape in preparation we will have to see how that how that works out mm. okay one thing i want to do the first thing i want to do is bring in again a turret here 
we will do just a framework and I want to see how big I can make the cannons. So that's that's one thing we want to take a look at. I, I'm playing around with having three cannon barrels and so I want to see how big that would be. Let me get out of here. The lighting now really, really looks cool and I really have to think about it. I'm for the first time ever, I'm really implementing lights to see what is happening around me because in darkness, it is it starts to be really, really dark. But for example, this thing here, I, I was completely surprised that it looks, it looked a bit nicer, a bit cleaner, and the the orange popped a bit more than it did before. So the main cannon will be the cannon in the front here. I will put in a smaller cannon up, up top here, but this will be the main cannon. I produced some rail dockers and some... Uh, okay, let me get this and then think about it. So we have one, two, three, four, four, and then the... Then the rail docker. Okay, I need to go and do this, I would say. Should we go from the back? I think we should go from the back. This is the front. So one, two, three. No, it's... I think I will go up. One, two... And the rail docker needs to be here in the middle. Having turrets on that thing will it will make it uh, start to work suddenly. So because at the moment it it doesn't wouldn't work as a ship in a fleet, and with the turrets I can implement it and maybe see if I can make a small fight against one of the other guys or uh, maybe a pirate station or something like that we will we will have to see I want to see what how this ship works out in the end okay this I can dock so let me do that get the rail docker on the hot bar and then dock it good that works out now i can start to think about how i want to place oh the rest of the thing so four to the front one two three four i want to copy this circle here at least one layer and then we go up a bit so what I can do is take a look at this cannon, for example. I want to have it look a bit like this cannon because this cannon I modeled after battleship cannons on, on real naval-based battleships that don't exist anymore. <laughs> battleships are basically done with the, the old-time World War II battleships and this one is a bit more futuristic you can see that that more pipes more here more there and I want to keep it relatively similar what these cannons do normally is they they keep the barrels relatively close to the body so the body doesn't go out for for long but it just goes out for a bit. And this is basically a counterweight. So the, the whole body doesn't rip apart when the, the barrels are straight and all that stuff. So you need to have a bit of a counterweight there. So, and then we make a placement. <clears throat> Should I do the barrels three wide 
or one white? That's a bit of a question. I don't want to make it too high one. So this would be three white. Ah, uh, this will be This will be not too good if it's This is maybe a bit too crazy. So what should we do? I think I will make them one white that looks a bit crazy, but maybe it doesn't make the whole cannon too crazy white. So what I will put in here is I want to have with this thing, I want to have basically the same configuration as this one. No, the, should I go for rockets? Or should I go for cannon barrels? That is the question. I noticed that the, the cannon barrels work out pretty well. So the, the cannon experience Cannon, cannon, explosive weapons work out pretty well. So this might be the thing I want to use for here and then have some rockets here. Here I can go for a, for bigger cannon barrels. So the, the rockets can have a bit more punch with a bit more modules on them. So I will place the <clears throat> I will place the rail axis here and then have it <laughs> I noticed that I was not able to produce rail axes that was uh, painful <laughs> because I was oh whoa how uh, why didn't I I needed to produce them and the my production facility in the base gets bigger and bigger I can only say good um, let me place oh something is happening there I think Gmod is oh Gmod is on and now the whole server goes crazy <laughs> I hope it doesn't crash we will see. Good. Let me work for a minute to make some barrels on here and I will be back in a bit. Okay, I have built the front part of the turret and I will definitely do some stuff to the back here too. And I might shave a bit of the top off. I think it is getting too tall for its size at least here. So I think I will shave this off, this the top layer. And you can see I have these three very small slits here just to just to bring in the barrels. There's the axis and I, I should be good if I go and just dock it to it, then it should snap in place and it should stay in here. So before I was rudely interrupted by a server crash, I uh, was trying to get the barrels done to fit them into that and I I don't know <laughs> what I said before I had uh, we talked a bit in in chat about that um, and so I basically forgot that let me get all the materials again uh, oh it crashed a long time ago I already had all this stuff on my hotbar and now it's why am I producing so many transporter modules ooh I need to uh, change that let me change a bit of the stuff get the stuff on the hotbar and then I will be back with you I just realized that all the block changes I made 
uh, got also deleted when the server crashed. So, yeah, this is not nice. So this needs to don't know, get investigated why why that happened. So, um, I there, there's ghost production. I have the feeling because I don't produce transporter modules in my station. I. I just don't produce them. There is no factory set up to produce them. And suddenly I have a lot of production of transporter modules. They, by the way, they show up as sometimes as black standard hull. So I just don't know what that is, why this happens. See, now it's an overdrive module but this is the overdrive module ah, okay the gmod is dying over there uh he attacked a pirate station that that might cause some trouble for him so uh, yeah i don't know where that comes from i turned off all my production now it stopped producing them but again I have no factory set up to produce transporter modules. I bought the ones I had. So let us see if we now can change stuff here and can put in the Canon computers, main Canon computer, then the secondary one, and then the effect computer for yeah the edit effect. Let us do it that way. So the main cannon barrel will be this one. I want to have in the middle of these things the main barrels for the cannon. I might add to it later on um, so that I now can just place it and have it in the in the main turret here. Uh, when I have the blocks placed, I don't have to fear that I can place some down here, for example. So now let us do this. The same. Hmm. I could go with the lower number and have just a bit of a faster cannon here. Let us see what we can do there, maybe. That helps me also to make it look a bit nicer later. So this will be, again, it is at the moment just to place that thing, to find the final length and then uh, add on to it. Um, now the explosive effect. This is again just to give a bit of an effect to the cannon and I might not even make it 100% here. So we will we will have to see. But what I can do now is place it into the carriage and then we can build on it later when it's in in the place where it should be. Good. Let me one thing. Ah, oh, we can't shoot because there's no energy. Energy first is transferred when it's in here. Oh, oh no. It gets stuck, but I don't know why. Let us take a look at this. It is flush with the bottom. That might pose a problem there. So I thought with a, I, I made a wedge on the bottom and I thought that might be enough to, nope, this one. Let me go into the core and then we remove some stuff here. So lighten and now we can maybe remove the wedges here. It could be that these wedges hold it back. No. Where's the problem here? It Now it should work. 
now it should work because uh, it could be this too does it work now now it works so the wedge didn't help there it it got stuck on the corner but now we can raise it and turn it around that works out pretty well and it's just a bit of the cannon barrel on the bottom we can regulate that with the length now i can take a look and maybe add some length take a look how how nice it looks with a certain length barrel length here if i would have hmm. on the other hand this wider thing would have been nice too i still could go for two barrels and make them wider maybe you have an idea for that i i'm not too sure okay question asked two barrels make it wider make it a bit thicker and make it the barrel length here or keep this three barrels make them look relatively narrow or make it white three barrels in in a three by three fashion basically answer me that question and then we i can continue to work on that here i would say um in the face that the server keeps on bugging a bit i will keep this i will end the episode here and you answer my question about how long it should be how wide it should be i think lengthwise i want to go to somewhere here to give the barrels a bit of punch and the the height i don't want to have it crazy high so uh, the three three for here might be the height of the turret maybe a bump or so in it that that is okay but uh, it shouldn't be too high so that i can have a cannon that sticks basically over it good people answer me that question and then i hope we can continue to work on this uh, very very soon good people um thanks for watching if you like the episode then please leave a like on it and i hope to see you in the next summit episode see you guys